Howdy again. Um, this is CSC 160. Uh, this is one of our uh, download and install videos. This time we're going to download and install uh, standalone Python. And um, Python is a programming language and it needs a uh, an interpreter or a program that where you enter in Python programs and it runs them on the computer. You know, the computer wants just ones and zeros. <clears throat> so um, you write a Python program as a text file, and then the Python interpreter will run that program for you, kind of convert it into ones and zeros and and and, uh, and run it for you. I mean, that's, that's maybe overstating the case a little bit or oversimplifying it, but... Um, yeah, it, 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 the Python interpreter stays resident in your computer once you start that process and, um, and it will interpret your program and turn it into commands that the, uh, the underlying, uh, programs, uh, you know, other programs in the computer can, uh, use and, and, and you'll effect what you want to do. Um, <clears throat> so. We may or may not refer to standalone Python um, in this course, but it's a good thing to know how to install. So um, that's why I'm doing the standalone uh, Python installation video. Also, um, you know, on any computer that you're on, <clears throat> you, you might want to have Python available and you may want to have just the straight Python environment. Um, Standalone Python comes with a, a little environment where you can edit files and run them and get error messages and you can, um, you know, do all the things you can in other uh, Python development environments. But um, it's good to know about this one. So um, without further ado, we're going to go um, to this place called python.org. And I will bring up a um, I bring up a, a new window here, and we'll type in <coughs> python .org. And of course, this we're doing this for Windows um, uh, for a Windows operating system. If you have a Mac, we'll do one for that as well, and. Um, what we'll do here, we're going to hover our mouse over uh, this downloads thing, and then we're going to see. Sorry. Then we're going to see this um, pop up or drop down from the menu happen, and we're going to want to click on Python 3.12.4. Um, there's a note up here that says if you already have standalone Python, of version 3.6 or newer installed on your system, this is optional. I think the newest features we're using, which are called um, F strings in Python, they're all, uh, they've been in it since 3.6. So I think you'd be okay there. And if not, you've got this video to install a newer Python. So um, we got one more page here. Yes, this is going to show you <clears throat> what's going to happen. You're going to have um, Python, you know, you're going to see an executable file listed here when you go to download it. And um, and I would put it in downloads, which is what is uh, what, what what is here. Well, I can move. I happen to have a, another window there. So you're going to go to downloads, and that is a good file name for it. So given that that's the case, let's go over here. We'll hover over downloads. We'll go over here to Python 3.12.4. I clicked on it, and here's that window we were talking about. And so let's uh, save that. And um, if we hover over this. I don't Oh, what's going on here? So we hover over uh, that thing. We downloaded it. 
And here's the I think this is Python right here. So let's click on it. Install Python 3.12.464 bit. I forgot to say that um, um, I forgot to say that uh, we use 64 bit systems now. It is 32 bit systems are really be struggling. It can be done uh, for some of our tools, and so I ju I'll just leave it at that. We're going to do the install now, and we're going to do um, use a admin privileges when installing. I, <clears throat> I don't believe this is necessary, but let's just do it so it makes sure that nothing uh, gets in our way. And um, let's click on this tile, install now. If you want to allow this device, this app to make changes to your device, I certainly do. And uh, now we commence to get down to begin to start to think about uh, installing Python. I suppose I could, uh, you know, just skip this in the video, but it's going to happen pretty quickly. So let's uh, let's stick with it. Okay, setup was successful. New to Python, there's all sorts of information there. And I believe you can find all this stuff um, at your um, yeah. <clears throat> now I'm going to do this disable path length limit. It's not specific to Python. I just want to do it anyway. And so that's all successful, and we can close this. Now, how do we know that we installed Python? Well, a couple things you can do. You can go look in uh, Control Panel. Uninstall a program. You can go down here to where the P's are. And you can see that <clears throat> we have Python 3.12.4 64-bit, and we have Python launcher, OK? And so um, that's certainly there. The other thing we can do is we can launch, if I put this in here, we can launch a command prompt, OK? I can either type uh, CMD, or my system had the command prompt there. But this is the, uh, you know, the command prompt, classic Windows command prompt. Now, we can type, I think you can just type py, but <clears throat> let's do python dash dash version. Boom. Oh, 3.12.7, 3.11.7, I thought we were installing 3.12.24, but um, we do have Python. So, um, that's uh, pretty much it. If I if I launch it, I have an environment right here. I can type things like uh, four plus twenty three and hit enter. 
So it'll <clears throat> do immediate kinds of things. I can type something like print hello world. That's actually a Python statement. That prints hello world. And there's some other things that you can um, run also. So I'm gonna I'm going to exit out of Python, which is done that way. And I'm going to exit out of the command window, which is just done like that. And there's another environment that comes with a standard development environment that comes with Python called idle. And um, here we go, idle 3.12.64. So um, I think I've removed that one. Um, so here we go. So here we have the idle shell and see the three greater than signs. We can do the same thing. I could say four plus 23. It may be hard for you to see this with a given font, but uh, it says 27. And I can say print hello world. And it'll print hello world. You know, so. We're there, we're working, and you can, if you wanted to write a program, you can go into file and say, uh, uh, new file. And then you can create a Python program in here, and we'll be, we'll be talking about creating Python programs, obviously. So, not to make this any longer than it has to be, <clears throat> I'm sorry about those, um, sorry about those uh, uh, version funnies that we just ran into, but um, if this is the only thing on your system, then you'll see 3.12.4. Um, any of those versions would have been fine, actually. But uh, So there we go. That's how you install standalone Python. <clears throat> and uh, this python.org has all sorts of things um, available that you can look at. Let's see. I'm going to slide this down. And it's got documentation. So there's like, you know, reference manuals. There's a beginner's guide, Auto, audio visual talks. They've got it all. Developer's guide. And once you get more, um, you know, uh, uh, pro proficient at Python, um, frequently asked questions, uh, Python books. There's a free book. Um, <clears throat> that uh, is available online there. Um, and PyPy, find, install, and publish Python packages with the Python package index. You will see that we will be, ex you know, calling upon Python extensions, not just the basic language to do the things that we're doing. And, um, you know, Py P P Y P I supports that. Just so you know, but okay, I think we've uh, dwelt enough on that, and um, uh, we'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.